I'd say some of you folks are still in love And some of you lucky folks might be again And some of you say your love is broken It's never gonna end Well, I'd say some of you folks have never been Something like that And I was imagining myself actually, like, addressing people, like, in an audience Like, being on stage I thought how much fun would it be to be on stage and actually say something to people in the audience then every one of them would, would, would immediately think to themselves, is that me? I live in Hamilton. The record is inspired to some degree, to some great degree, by the city of Hamilton. I always kind of maintained that if that if Winnipeg were 45 minutes from Toronto, I'd, I'd move back. And in a lot of ways, Hamilton is is, is like is, that's what, kind of what we've done because Hamilton and Winnipeg are very similar. They've got um, a lot of history. They're, they're older cities. They're affordable, so they encourage artists to live and work in those places, and that's a, a good environment to be in. Just by chance, uh, I had a show at Mixed Media, uh, an art store in Hamilton, and he happened to go in there and got to talking to the owner, I think, and he came over here and we had dinner, and we got along pretty good. People think comics and they automatically think, oh, he's making fun, right? I just trusted that he'd have that uh, understanding that, you know, that comics is about more than just laughing at people. I mean, maybe he just observes otherwise mundane comings and goings of people in a city like Hamilton, which is pretty colorful to begin with, and he can recast those observations in a, in a, in a really um, compassionate and at the same time humorous, ironic kind of light. To me, it's like he's trolling the city looking for songs. And I don't think I would have uh, put so much into the project if it wasn't such a strong album the songwriting was so strong. You know, there were a few acoustic songs I wrote, and I'm always writing little acoustic songs, but we wanted this to be a rock and roll record. But, you know, I was thinking about the classic rock and roll records, and a lot of them have a couple, you know, a uh, couple acoustic songs in, thrown in for good measure. Certainly in the classic rock world, that was part of the way it used to go. It doesn't seem like that's the case anymore, but anyway, so... Uh, Wisdom is that you're supposed to be subtle and you're supposed to be guarded. I, I don't have the, the protective gene that would uh, keep me from expo. I've made mistakes, but not mistakes. I've just been really candid and I've, ex I've been open about things that I, that I realize other people won't be open about, um, for better or for worse. I mean, at the same time, people ask me what songs are about, um, and half the time my answer is to read the lyrics because I don't think they're very well hidden. Like, there's. The, I, I'm not a particularly subtle or metaphoric writer. I don't. I don't bury things beneath layers of of, um, of, of obtuse prose or or metaphors. Things are usually pretty direct. It's like this is what I'm trying to get across. I guess I just never had the urge to go off and mess around with other people's stuff. But having worked with Luke and. <clears throat> Having him be so unprecious about his his material and basically just giving me carte blanche to do whatever I want with it, it turned out to be really kind of a, a, a cool little sidebar to mess around with somebody else's stuff. He's a great referencer. He's constantly opening his computer and going, check it out, and he'll pull up some weird, rare Iggy and the Stooges B-side. And there's something about what he brings up that's always exactly appropriate to the song that we're working on. In terms of my first production credit, I'm really proud of it. I'm really happy with it. Because I was terrified at first. I didn't know what it was going to be like to be a producer, somebody's producer. Because I never really liked my producers when I worked with them. This was a gamble. I didn't know if Andrew was going to be able to bring that kind of um, generosity and creativity and, and knowledge to the process. I was prepared for the possibility that he would not, but he, he did, and it, it was pretty astonishing. He's an incredible musician, and it was such a pleasure to work with him. Hey now, what are you hiding? Hey now, 
I couldn't lie if I wanted to It's been snowing for days There's nowhere I could be going to Hey now What are you hiding me from? set out to make a rock record, I set out to make a rock and roll record, and I think there's a very significant and important distinction that can be made. Rock music without the roll is, is not very good as far as I'm concerned, and I think there's a lot of it out there right now. It's got to be loose, and it's got to be a bit sloppy, and it's got to feel like it, it shoots from the hip a little bit. <laughs> 